Hi everybody, Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. We are in the Great Smoky Mountains. Where are we, Boo? We are at Look Rock Campground off the Foothills Parkway in the Great Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Now this is not a very well-known campground and uh, my sister wanted to show it to us and we're gonna share it with you guys. Okay, so this campground just reopened. It's closed for the season right now. It stayed open, what, for a month, Boo? Mm -hmm. Right. It'll open again in March or April. Okay. So we're going to take you guys around and show you. This is off of the, um, Foothills Parkway. the Foothills Parkway here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And you have views of mountains on either side of you. So we thought we would share the campground with you so you could see what it looks like. Looks like they have some uh, parking up here with some electric, electric and water. Yeah, where the camp post is. Okay. All right. So this is for the camp post is. There are electric sites and water sites, and then there's just tent sites. All right. So you can see this is site two right here. This is a pull off. Evidently, you park at it, and then down here are the picnic tables and a tent pad. So this is a tent site right here, and it looks like probably one over to the left as well, over here. And it's all paved. They're all paved. So it looks like here again. See, this one I think would be a good thing for like training. Because look at your view. Oh yeah, look at that. So this is site five. So site five, but you have a tent pad, you have a picnic table and a fire ring, and double parking right here. And you'd have that view across from you. Yeah. Site six. Tent pad, picnic table, fire ring, and the beautiful view. And across from us, site seven, same amenities. There's no electric or water or sewer hookups. There's no sewer at all in here. Nope. And another one, they're either pull in and park or these kind of uh, drive through sort of sites. And then the camping is down here on the right, right off the road, and you have some stair steps. And then over here to the left is nine. Same thing. All right, again. This is site number 11 over to the left. Pull through and to the right, you can see, you just kind of pull through here and pull through around there. Yeah, so this is really cool. Yep. So you would have your... Yeah, this is a nice private... It's got a tent pad back here. Yep. Yeah, there's plenty of space. Plenty of privacy, it appears. You can see. You can either kind of back in or you pull through on either side. And they all pretty much have the same amenities. There's a tent pad, a fire ring picnic table. Well, look at your view when you wake up. If you set your tent doors that way. Yeah. You have that cool view. These view. 30? Maybe? I don't know. Tennessee, Site Tennessee 15. Cheaper. And vets get a discount. And All right. Now it looks like maybe there's a bathhouse over here to the left. We might is. take a look. All right. So, yeah, there's a little bathhouse down here. I'm not going to go all the way down because it looks a bit icy and sketchy. And maybe some showers in there. I don't know. Uh, no. no. Just bathrooms? Yeah. Okay. Flush toilets. All right. Now, here's a water source right here. So, potable water source right here. Beautiful view. As soon as Chris and I came up, we realized we've got to get some new here. And here's 19. Most of these are intended for tent camping, but you could pull a van in here, park it, and use it. And then this goes down into the woods down here. There's your tent pad and your picnic table. You do have quite a bit of privacy. They're really nice sites. Now, these are not 
level because you're going up and down a mountain they are somewhat level you'd have to level out just a little bit like this one right here number 20 looks pretty level like you'd be okay without having to level too much the one over here just a little bit more of a hill to this one this is site 21 over here but they're still all pretty cool um, nice tent pads picnic tables and fire pits this one in particular your view is beautiful nothing but the woods look at that very cool so as you can see here's where you would park come down the steps You get your view of the mountains, your tent pad, lots of privacy down in here. Site 23. Now, these sites right through here, 23, maybe 24, 25, there's a house built here. Right on park property. Right, I mean, on, right on to the edge. Right up to the edge. Okay, so again, site 25, past the house. You can see these all kind of loop, and those are all campsites. So you would park here, and your campsite is over here, and they're all basically the same. They've got some tent pads, picnic tables, and a fire ring. All right, and another bathhouse and potable water source right here, and this path right here leads up to another bathhouse right through the woods there. So another, and it looks ahead of me, I can see so, so far there's three bathhouses. So they've put lots of bathhouses in the campground. All right, site 26 and 27 right here coming up. All right, so this is site 28 again. You could back something into this one. And then the main road wraps around back behind it over here. Oh, okay. All right. So anyhow, there is a little road there that takes you, I guess, to the dump station. But I do see picnic. I do see camping. I see camping down there too, though. I would say to go on the website to see what the length of some of these sites are. Like these right here. Um, you could probably pull just about anything into it, but I don't know with the long straight ones. I know in our van they would be just fine to pull something in there. That's 33 right there, and it's next to a bathhouse. 33 and 34 right next to the bathhouse. And then up here on the right is site 32 that you would walk up to. You're kind of on the top of the mountain here. Again, another bathhouse. It looks like it's accessible from each side of the main road here. All right, so the bathhouse is open, so we're gonna go check it out. Pester, you stay out. And we can get some video of what the bathhouse looks like. But yeah, sinks and toilets. Basically, that's all there is. All right. So this has got a utility sink that you can use. There you go. Yeah, so we were just saying, this is a really cool site, number 36. There's your tent pad up here, picnic table, fire ring, and then you have all these woods. There's nobody next to you. This whole circle, it looks like you would have pretty much to yourself. This is where we stay. So yeah, this is really, really nice. Number 36. That looks like a good one. All right, so this site here, number 37, it's also a good site that you have so much privacy to this side of you. This is the site right here. But you have all these woods, so you have a lot of privacy. And this is also an electric and water site. Okay, so there you go. Site 37 right there. And you have your fire pit and picnic table behind your parking area. 
And the dump station is over here to the left. We're not going to go way down there, but it is that way. And then you can see the rest of these, as my sister said, have electric. You can see the power box and the water source right here. And they all have the same amenities. Nice and level and paved. I like that. Then you're not you're not dragging in yeah, it's a great the great outdoors with you. But and again some of the little drive in sites right here. You see that right there. It's number forty. Again, the tent pad back there. And over here on the left. Forty one. Forty one. Electric and water. Pretty good size. Okay, 42 over to the right. No electric on the right over here. These are all tent, tenting sites over here on the right, on the outside of the loop. And then the inside does have electric and water. Mm -hmm. And your picnic table and firing. This one's sitting right next to a creek. 45 just tenting only no electric no water again the outside loop with no electric or water but the inside loop with electric and water but if you look you have all these woods behind you so you have a lot of privacy these are nice okay so that's 47 49 and this is 48. Yeah, and I think that's the end of the power. Uh, I think the last one we saw power on was 46, I think. So there's only a handful of power. Yeah, so there's only a handful of electric and water sites available. And the rest of these look like they're just no electric, no water. But there are potable water sources. Here's 51, 53, uh-huh, right we saw a group set up when we were here, and they just had all that whole area was just oh, yeah. tents and, oh yeah, yeah, my sister was pointing out that these are really great for, like, if you have a family gathering here, because you have this whole center area in the woods that you could visit with each other so that's kind of a cool 54 thing and 56. yeah and that one down here too yeah, and, and then there are dumpsters throughout the campground so that's nice 55 is up here on the hill you can see all these are up on the hill 58 has electric has power and water These over here, 57 and 59, are just tenting sites. And then you can pull in right here and walk up to your site. 60 has power, water. 61 does not have power and water. Okay, so these, you park and you walk up into your site and you can see up here are picnic tables, fire pits, tent pads so you would park here and then pull, walk your stuff in and this is site 67 over on the left it does have power and water so again just check the website to see if you need power and water where those are available because it's not throughout the campground they're kind of scattered in different areas and this is site 70 right here you pull in and your site's down here. And this is the last site. So 70 sites. Lots of trees. Lots of shade, I'm sure. When the leaves are out. There you go. Okay, everybody. So that was the tour of the Look Rock Campground. Here in the Great Smoky Mountains. Off of the... Uh, Foothill Parkway. 
the Foothill Parkway. And again, uh, you'll need to look online to see exactly which sites have what you might need power or water because they're not all power and water. And again, Frankie, you said that this is one of the few, the only. It's the only one in the Smokies that has power, that has power and water. Yep, she said it's the only campground in the Smokies with power and water, so. Anyhow, really nice little campground, a beautiful area. Thanks for coming along with us, guys. We'll see you later.